Hi, this is Lou here, and I'm going to talk about monsters and additional character classes and adventures for RPGs. Thirty-some years ago, I wrote lots of this stuff up. Much of it was published in magazines. But these days, I only write the Worlds of Design column on enworld.org, which is about designing settings and designing RPGs not about monsters, settings, and so forth, specifically. It's a general discussion of design. Now, I don't write this kind of stuff up these days because I'd be competing with so many people who are willing to write fantasy role-playing game stuff for nothing or for cheap, but also because there's not much point in writing more monsters and settings and even adventures. Because we've got 44 years of accumulation of that stuff. And whatever you need is probably out there. And often is free, even if it wasn't free to begin with. Moreover, something that's new is not likely to be as good as the best of that old stuff. It's possible that on average the newer stuff is better than the old stuff was, but with 44 years accumulation of old stuff, there's some really outstanding things out there that any given new one is not likely to be able to compete with. So, there's two reasons why I don't write this stuff. One, I'd be competing with fanboys, I'll say. Uh, and just with a great volume, and two, because we don't need it anymore. Or at least I don't think there's a sufficient need that I'm going to write it up. Now, I am going to issue a lot of my old stuff in a reprint book, because some of it still today, people say, well, that was a really good article by Lou from 35 years ago, and if they think that, then a lot of it's worth reprinting. And that will include some new stuff that I devised for my own D&D campaigns after I stopped writing for the magazines. And you might wonder, why did I stop writing for the magazines? It's because they started to require all rights. In other words, they wanted to buy the article lock, stock, and barrel, and I would no longer have any control over it and no longer make any money from it. And I don't do that. I never do that. And I recommend that you never do that. But in fact, that's the typical deal nowadays in the industry is you write for hire. You write the book, and whether it sells well or sells poorly, doesn't matter. You get paid whatever they said they would pay you. That's a bad deal as far as I'm concerned, but that's the standard deal. So that is the third reason why I don't write this stuff up anymore. Thanks for listening.